So the visually impaired edition of the six kilometer will be the next to be presented. And again, the sun just going a little bit further down. It's very, very warm temperatures throughout the day today. But the hugely impressive cauldron keeps its fabulous presence here in Rosa Katarina. So here we are, the athletes will be honored here. Again, Ukraine features, that's what you'd expect, of course, by Oslan and cross-country. Oksana Shiskova is the bronze medal winner. Russia's Yulia Budaliva is the silver. And guess what? Russia has Mikalina Lisova as the gold medal winner. The accompanying guides, Lada Nestorenko, Tatiana Maltseva, and Alexei Ivanov. We've got uh, Bob Stedward from Canada, the IPC Lifetime member, together with the Olga Polodets. Dr. Bob Stedward, Lifetime member of the International Paralympic Committee. Accompanied by Mrs. Olga Polodets, Deputy Prime Minister of the Russian Federation. Medalia Vrochaya, Dr. Bob Stedward, Pashizniany Chvien Mezdonarodnova Paralympijskoho Komiteta. Bronze medalist representing Ukraine. Bronze призеры, представители Украины. Оксана Шишкова. Oksana Shishkova and Lada Nesterenko. They, well, certainly Oksana at the age of 22 will be very, very happy with her performance. In terms of previous world championships, she's managed silver medal on two occasions, but in Vancouver, she did not reach the podium. So this is a huge step forward. Fifth and a sixth in Vancouver, now up to third position. And uh, well, Oksana Shishkova, uh, Shishkova will be really, really pleased to receive a little distance behind the others on the podium. The two Russians were significantly ahead in the actual competition itself, but. A bronze medal is a great achievement. Representing Russian Federation. Серебряные призеры. Представители России. Юлия Бугалеева. И Татьяна Мальцева. Юлия Бугалеева, together with Татьяна Мальцева, the guide, they have achieved a silver medal here in the Women, six kilometer visually impaired. And uh, well, after a second in the World Championships in Sol Soleftia in Sweden, also a third in that same tournament. Also uh, in the biathlon, achieving uh, three silver medals as well. It seems like they will be hoping against hope to break the silver medal habit. You never know. It's a welcome silver, but they will try definitely to get to the top of that podium soon. representing Russian Federation. Mikalina Lisova and Alexei Ivanov, the guide, 
21 years old, Michalina from Nitsi Tagil in Russia. What a popular winner she is too. She won in the 2.5 times three relay open in Vancouver. So she has been to the top step before. She was second in the kilometer sprint and the classic star five kilometers in Vancouver. So this is another marvelous achievement. World Championship, she's won on five occasions previously. But this is definitely at her home Paralympic Winter Games will be something hugely special for both of them. In fact, Alexei even off as well. Ladies wonderful, and gentlemen, wonderful the achievement. Of Russian Federation, Dame Gospada, Zvuchit Gim Rasiye. Ladies and gentlemen, the Paralympic medalists, Dame Gospoda, победители и призоры Паралимпийских игр. We're getting used to seeing tears of joy, of course, but this is very special for Michalina Lisova. She has fulfilled all the expectations and ambitions of all those that supported and sponsored her. She's part of the Our Champion project launched by the Sochi 2014 Organizer Committee. That was in order to raise awareness of the Paralympic movement and its values. What a champion she's proven to be. She was the IPC Athlete of the Month after winning four golds earlier in her career in the World Championships. It has been something very special for everyone, in particular for this young girl, 21 years old, superb. Ladies and gentlemen, 